So I just wanted to do this really quickly to show people who are joining me on my money savings plan. And you can take quick pictures if you want. This is just, I didn't fill this in on purpose. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys money and someone advised me not to do that. But each, like envelopes 1 through 25 will total $325 at the, just with those 25 envelopes. Envelopes 26 through 50 is $950. Envelopes 51 through 75 is $1,575. And envelopes 76 through 100 is $2,200. So if you just want to, if you wanted to start at the end, let's say you get money from your taxes and you just want to be intentional, why don't you start doing the highest amount of money you have to save first? So I would recommend maybe for the $2,200, Maybe trying to put $76 in the $76 slide, $77, $78, $79, 80 and so forth till you get to $100. So what I'm doing, my goal is by the time I get to the last, <laughs> the last 20, the last 25, I want to put $100 in every envelope. So I'm going to save more than the total of all of this. If you add up 3, 25 plus 950 plus 1575 plus 2200 it totals $5,050 and you're going to say you did it when you finish it trust me I've done it so this thing works and I'm also sharing what I wrote in my journal book um, and I'm going to put this on clubhouse because I want you guys to see this um, what I'm not going to share is like things that I actually wrote in the journal I wrote some goals down but those are my personal goals and you're going to do the same thing so I'm imagining my life in the future, though. And, you know, that's what that's what I do. And that's what I'm doing. Um, but in the money savings plan, um, I can't share that with you guys. This is this was my journaling throughout this whole, you know, my repetition journal. I just want to show you guys this is one of my journal books. But anyway, the bottom line is that when you're doing this money savings plan, it's all about being intentional. And I'm just going to read this quickly. January. As I began my journey today on the first day of January, I prepared all of my methods as far as my 100 slot book that gives me a formula to save $5,050. In addition, I have 31 envelopes and each month based on the number of days in each month, I will commit myself to saving no less than a dollar up to $100 in every one of each envelope for the number of days in that month. So let me explain. The month of January has 31 days, right? So let's say I want to put a dollar in every envelope. That's $31. Let's say if I want it in the month of February, I want to put a dollar in each envelope. It's 29 days in the month of February. So that's $29. Now for months that like, for instance, I have 31 envelopes. And I'm committed to putting in the money for the 29 days based on the month. But let's say you have 31 envelopes. If you want to put a $20 bill or something special in the other envelopes, that's just something special for yourself. So when you get to the end of it, you have a little extra money. So, you know, be creative. Whatever you, you know, really desire to do, I'm all for it. Let's go for it, right? So then um, once you put the money in every one of those envelopes, that's just one of my methods and you can be as intentional as you want about how much you want to save and, you know, what you want to do with the 31 envelopes. Now, another method I am doing is saving money in two sets of 52 envelopes. Um, one particular set of envelopes, I'm only saving $2 bills in that envelope in each one. And I usually give those to my grandkids for Christmas. So the other set of 52 envelopes, and remember the 52 represents 52 weeks. So every week I have to put money in those in one of those envelopes. So the first week I'll put something in the envelope and the second week, you know, whatever, up until the 54th week. So you decide how you want to do that plan. I actually have a whole plan for that, but you can save a little bit of money. You can save a medium amount of money or you can save a lot of money. It is up to you. Uh, moreover, um, uh, another thing I want to show you guys, just give me one second. I'm going to put that down for a second because this thing is kind of heavy. But I have some pictures.
piggy banks that I want to show you guys. And I can't lift them all, guys, because they're like really, really, really heavy. Um, I have one that I just kind of sort of start, started, so I want to show you guys. Um, this is one. This is this this whole thing is actually filled. It's, it's and that is nothing but pink. This right here. Let me show this one to you guys. This one has nothing but fifty cent coins in here. You can't see it, but it's nothing but. 50 cent and dollar coins in here. I don't know if y'all can see, but there's 50 cent coins and I've been saving those for years. This is one I just started like in January. This has everything in it, right? And then I have a big, big, big bank and it's uh, uh, it's actually a big uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, like, a, like a Pittsburgh Steelers, it looks like a big, big, gigantic um, beer bottle. And I'm filling that with not just change, but with dollars and two dollars and fives, whatever I want to throw in it. And we'll see how much I save by the end of it. Anyway, I wanted to share this really quick before I do my clubhouse because I don't want to show money, not real money. I do have real money, but I'm not going to show that to y'all um, just because I was advised not to. So I want to use a little wisdom here, but I'm going to talk about it live when we go on clubhouse in about maybe like 10 minutes. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Today is Saturday, February the 10th. And we are in the second month of 2024. Yes. So for those who join me on the journey, the 40-day journey that started December the 1st up until January the 9th of 2024, as we journal with purpose, passion, and power. Yes. I'm just going to quickly show this to you, the goals. You can't see that. But this is where each day we journal. And I did... A couple of different journal books so I just want to show you guys I'm very intentional about how I journal and I, I don't like to show people exactly what I write but I want to show you that every day we did this every day every day and I'm gonna skip along skip along skip along skip along skip along and then I did this is my uh, I'm doing one words and that's continuing and I'm doing repetition and manifestations and so on and so forth so bottom line is I'm, I'm basically trying to get you guys to where I started to do my money savings plan. So yes, when I set up my money savings plan, I wrote out these goals for how I wanted to do my plan. Now for the 31, uh, this is basic. If you save a dollar in each envelope, you know, from January to December, you're going to have $366. If you save $2 in each envelope, you're going to have $732. And if you save $5, you're going to have... $1,830. And you could do the math. If you want to do $10, $20, so on and so forth. And I just did this little grid here. You know, I didn't fill this in. I just wanted to use this as a sample to show you guys. But you guys get my drift. You can do this any way you want and you can begin to save your money. So let's go. You can do this. I can do this. We can do this. I love you guys. Let's go. Let's be intentional. Let's continue to, yes, journal with purpose, passion, power, but let's save some money. Thank you for joining me on Linda Johnson's Money Savings Plan. God bless you all, and I can't wait to follow up with you when we get past the first quarter. So we're going to talk about this again, again in the month of April. God bless.